So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of the on button press blocks. We can see they're found within the input command set. By default, we're using button A. See here, we can also choose button B or A plus B. And if we look at the micro bit on the simulator, we can see that button A is the left hand button and button B is the right hand button. So what will happen is when button A is pressed, any code that we put within this loop will execute. We can test this out by having a simple show LEDs block and we'll then turn on a few LEDs. These LEDs will come on when button A is pressed. If we add a second on button press block here and set it to button B and then we also add a show string block, this string or text here, hello, will be displayed when button B is pressed. And we can see this in action on the simulator. So if I click button A, we can see these LEDs come on. And if I click button B, the text in the on button B press block executes and we can see the text, hello.